had a world of my own. I'm Alice, and I'm an artist. I feel art is a movement of self-expression, something that evokes an emotional response of the beholder. Art can be anything, but not anything can be art. Art is an authentic voice of creative expression. It's an exploration of one's own consciousness. Art is not separate than life. Art is life. Art is something that expresses an idea or a feeling, and that expression is left up to the observer. And so I feel art is the natural voice of the universe, and although it's the responsibility of the artist to portray it, it lies truly in the vision of the beholder. Well, my use of psychedelics has a big part in my art. Uh, when I started experimenting, you know, I, I saw a lot of geometric patterns, especially when I went to Peru and did ayahuasca. I saw a lot of sacred geometry in my visions and I, it plays a big part in my inspiration. I feel math, especially geometry, is the language of the universe. Well, my inspiration to work with blood is, it's kind of an intimate one. You know, I, I feel that I want to offer people, you know, a piece of me, not just by me. And so when I started working with blood, I felt that was the most intimate way to connect with somebody. And you've seen my work before, you've seen I, I do a lot of geometry and I have a, a very strong connection with sacred geometry. So a lot of my geometry pieces I will, I'll put my blood into. Working with mirrors is so unique and you know, I don't really consider myself a painter. So I, I found something that, you know, I can really do on my own. There, I have no teacher and um, I've always wanted to be an artist, but you know, I can't paint like Rembrandt. So I kind of branched off from that. Math is definitely the biggest theme. And I did well in, in school and math, but I never really had an interest until I started doing art. So if you see my sculptures or any of my sacred geometry pieces, you'll you'll see that that's definitely a constant theme and something that I would like to keep pursuing. You know, when I think of practice, you know, it's basically exactly that, it's a practice. So my style has changed dramatically, you know, from etching on the front of mirrors and doing the backwards painted mirror paintings, and then now doing the sculptures and using two-way mirror and making these three-dimensional slash four-dimensional sculptures has, has really been really been cool and I get a lot of inspiration working with other artists. If anybody's been to Burning Man like they know, they're just riding around seeing all the possibilities out there. It's, it's been a really cool practice. So shit man like practice just going to Burning Man and getting filling up my head with all these creative ideas and working with other artists and practice is exactly that it's just practicing your craft uh, over and over my dream project was the portal that was something that i've been wanting to do for a while and if you're not familiar with the portal you can check it out on instagram project portal official but it's a giant kaleidoscope that you can walk into and I, I met an artist, Johnny Crash, at Burning Man, and we decided to do a project together. And he has amazing, just big sculpture art, and he used a lot of math and mirrors in his work. So we got together, decided to do a project, and I said I always wanted to do a kaleidoscope that you could climb up into. And he made it happen. Definitely check that out. That's been my dream project. And that's kind of when I got into the LED game and started doing the sculptures, uh, the Infinity and sculptures. And I'm looking forward to bringing that project back to Burning Man. I interviewed an artist, I mean, forget her name, but the thing that stuck out the most was she said that it took her 10 years to unlearn what she learned in art school in order to become successful. I thought that was really awesome. You know, sometimes, you know, like Picasso said, you gotta learn the rules in order to break them. And I thought that was very valuable that's probably the best advice that I could give anybody else. As far as other ventures on the horizon, well, I have endless ideas, so I have some more sculptures that I'd like to make. Working on the portal and bringing that back to Burning Man is uh, very excited about that. Also, a heart path is something that my 
actual computer teacher and I have been working on, and that would be taking us down through South America and giving acupuncture to people in places where it's not available. I'm really looking forward to that because I love traveling. I get so many ideas traveling to different countries and seeing how other people live and how they value their lives. And, you know, it's not about your material things and your possessions that, you know, bring you happiness. It's kind of just having what you need. And I love traveling in that respect. And um, so Heart Path is definitely on the horizon and, and just working working on more art. I feel like I have some traction here and I'm just going to roll with it.